Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. Morning. Uh, my name is Nashara Atifa Binti Kenyar. I'm from Group 9. My team consists of five uh, five people. That is Fahan Al Fayizin, Bin Rosaimi Yazi, Muhammad Faiza Bin Baharudi, myself, Nashara Atifa Binti Kenyar, Joanna Trusa Edwin, and Agaran Anak Laki Subramani. Our group has decided to do a rocket. The methodology and design. The design of the rocket is based on the United States of America rocket missile that is AIM-120 ARAAM and METEO. Uh, both of these, uh, these uh, rocket missile are a type of BVRAAM. Uh, I we choose this uh, this uh, this design because it is simple and it is for the long range target. Okay, this is our rocket design. We uh, the design was done using Katia software. For the design, we have three parts. That is the nose cone, the body, the fins. And for the fins, we have two sections. That is the front fins and the rear fin. For the uh, material used for the design rocket. Uh, for the nose cone, we use the titanium alloy. For the most specific is titanium 6, six aluminum 4V alloy. For the body and the rear fins, we use stainless steel. And for the front fin, we use aluminum alloy or aluminum 6951 or we call aluminum magnesium silicon. Okay, so now I'm going to give the reasons why our team selected these materials. So first of all, let's look at the stainless steel alloy. Stainless steel alloy is the most reliable because stainless steel alloy has more chromium than the other steels. It also has the ability to remain at solid state at high temperature without a heat shield. This makes the overall weight of the rocket lighter and it also has a high cryogenic toughness due to the presence of nickel and it also can maintain a high ductility and a high tensile strength. Stainless steel alloy is also less corrosive, easier to maintain and it is really attractive as it has a mirror-like sheen steel. It also have a thin layer of oxide that enables it to prevent rusting. Chromium content in the material itself gives it a self-healing property even if the material has any cuts to it. Next, let's go to the titanium alloy. Titanium alloy has a good strength to weight ratio that makes it to good material for rockets. It also provides weight saving attributes, temperature, temperature capabilities and corrosion resistance. The titanium alloy also has high strength and low density. It is also used at the top part of the rocket which is the cone nose as it is light and strong at the same time. Third, let's look at the aluminum alloy. Aluminum alloy is used to manufacture fins for heat exchanger since it has a heat treatable alloy. It also provides additional strength to the fins while increasing sag resistance. And aluminum 6951 also has a unique characteristic which is ideal strength to weight ratio which allows it to be used as building materials for honeycomb panels. The construction of honeycomb panel creates a capacity for sheet material to maintain significant strength and it also acts as a really good corrosion resistant agent for the rocket. Hi doctor, my name is Muhammad Faisal bin Bahadurin. My metric number is 203127. I am going to explain about design specialty and function. The first part is a nose cone. It has an aerodynamic shape made from titanium alloy. It has a high strength. This titanium alloy is used in many areas, including marine application and sports equipment. Next is the body of the rocket. It is made in a small diameter so that it has low amount of drag. It is made from stainless steel, which has high impact resistivity. The next part is fins. Fins is to provide stability and control direction of the rocket. The front fin is made from aluminium alloy, which is very lightweight. And the rear fin is made from a high strength material, which is stainless steel. And the 
in my opinion, the design rocket will work. A rocket is subjected to four forces, lift, thrust, drag, and weight. And the fins are used to maintain the rocket stability and stainless steel is used for the toughness and the lightweight material such as titanium and aluminium also being used. And for the fuel part, liquid hydrogen is selected because it is very lightweight and extremely powerful. This rocket has everything needs to fly and it can be said that our design rocket will work. Moving on to the next part. Hello and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fahan Al Faizin Berzan Yazi. My matrix number is 20641. So, who will benefit from the design? First of all, is community, industry, and government agency. It can provide job opportunities and prevent poverty for community. Uh, as we know, building this rocket requires a massive workforce. Therefore, there will be many job opportunities, uh, such as avionics technician. Aerospace engineer and many more. For industry, there were also many industries involved in manufacturing this missile, such as raw material industry and software company industry. We can uh, we can also prepare jet fighter with this advanced missile. La, for government agency, we can uh, this this design can upgrade the military weapon and defense system. Therefore, uh, we can ensure the safety of our country. That's all from me. Thank you. Greetings and good day, I bid to Dr. Do Kairunisa and hello everyone. My name is Joanna Trisa Edwin and my matrix number is 207631. I will be presenting about the environmental impact of our choice of materials. So without further ado, let's begin with the first one, stainless steel. Stainless steel has many benefits. It is environmental friendly. First of all, it is non-toxic because uh, the raw material used to produce is a scrap metal, which consists of 70% of recyclable materials. The production also is harmless towards the environment because it does not emit carbon dioxide. And with the rise of technology, the energy needed to manufacture has also been reduced. The process to clean stainless steel is also easy hence making it easier for the workers. And lastly, it is harmless to human health because uh, it is difficult for the breeding of the bacteria. So next is the aluminum. For the aluminum, I highlight the negative impact because it is too significant for us to ignore. First of all, the production process for the aluminum, however, is not very environmental friendly, unfortunately. This is because the transformation of aluminum from raw bauxite consumes high amount of energy, high amount of electricity, water, and other resources are needed. And the worst part is that the smelting process emits a high amount of greenhouse gases. One of it is the perfluorocarbon. Carbon dioxide itself is, does a lot of damage to the environment let alone this gas, which is 9,200 times more harmful than the carbon dioxide. So that's all for the aluminium. We proceed to the last one, titanium. Titanium does have benefits too. One of it is, it is recyclable, hence uh, the cost to produce it is low. Next, it is inert, so it can survive and withstand the weather. It is biocompatible, so non-toxic. And lastly, it has low density, so saves the fuel consumption. All right, so that is all for the environmental impact. We have reached the end of our presentation, and that is all from ST9. Thank you.